Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Deep Dive Knowledge Talk. Could you please explain the concept of virtual context management and how it is implemented in MemGPT? Virtual context management in MemGPT refers to the way the model handles and organizes different types of information in its memory. It involves the use of three main components, system instructions, conversational context, and working context. System instructions are like fixed rules or guidelines that the model follows. They provide important information that remains constant throughout the model's operation. Think of them as a set of instructions that the model always refers to. Conversational context contains information from previous conversations or interactions. It acts as a read-only memory for the model, allowing it to remember important details from past conversations. However, to prevent the memory from becoming overwhelming, there is a size limit. When the memory reaches this limit, some parts of the front end are compressed or summarized to make space for new information. Working context, on the other hand, serves as a working memory scratch pad for the model. It is a writable memory that the model can use to store temporary information and perform calculations. The model can read from and write to this memory as needed. In MemGPT, virtual context management is implemented by organizing these three components and ensuring that they fit within the memory capacity of the model. The system instructions are pinned to the main context and remain constant. The conversational context is read-only with an eviction policy to manage its size. The working context is writable and can be modified by the model through function calls. By effectively managing these different components of memory, MemGPT can process and remember information from multiple conversations and perform complex tasks while avoiding memory overload. How does MemGPT utilize interrupts to manage control flow between the model and the user? Could you provide some examples of how these interrupts are used in practice? MemGPT utilizes interrupts to manage control flow between the model and the user in a chat-based application. Interrupts are events triggered by external factors such as user messages, system messages, user interactions, or timed events. When an interrupt occurs, MemGPT processes it with a parser to convert it into plain text messages that can be appended to the main context. Interrupts play a crucial role in allowing MemGPT to respond to user inputs in a timely manner. For example, let's consider a chat application where a user asks MemGPT to perform a specific task, such as searching for information on the internet. MemGPT can use an interrupt to process the user's request, initiate a search query, retrieve the search results, and present them to the user. Another practical example is when a user uploads a document and asks MemGPT to extract specific information from it. MemGPT can use an interrupt to handle the document upload event, process the document using text extraction techniques, extract the desired information, and provide it to the user. By utilizing interrupts, MemGPT can manage the control flow between the model and the user, allowing it to respond to user inputs and perform various tasks in a conversational setting. How does MemGPT's virtual context management and the use of interrupts contribute to its performance in document analysis? Can you provide some insights into the improvements it offers compared to existing approaches? MemGPT's virtual context management and the use of interrupts offer significant improvements for document analysis compared to existing approaches. Virtual context management allows MemGPT to efficiently store and access a large number of documents. It can bring in and out information from the main context, which is like the computer's working memory, and the external context, which is like a disk storage. This means that MemGPT can hold and retrieve a vast amount of information without overwhelming its working memory. The use of interrupts further enhances MemGPT's document analysis capabilities. Interrupts are like pop-up notifications that grab MemGPT's attention and prompt it to perform a particular task. For example, an interrupt can be triggered when a specific query or time period is mentioned. MemGPT can then search its memory and retrieve past interactions related to that query or time period. It can autonomously update its understanding of the current objectives and responsibilities and modify its main context accordingly. These features enable MemGPT to effectively handle document analysis tasks. It can search through and analyze a large document database stored in the external context. 
it can also perform self-directed editing and retrieval, updating its memory, and moving items between contexts as needed. This flexibility and adaptability make MemGPT a powerful tool for document analysis, providing improved efficiency and accuracy compared to existing approaches. Can you elaborate on how MemGPT's virtual context management and interrupt-based control flow contribute to the performance of multi-session chat applications? How does it enable MemGPT to remember, reflect, and evolve dynamically through long-term interactions with users? MemGPT's virtual context management and interrupt-based control flow play a crucial role in the performance of multi-session chat applications and enable MemGPT to remember, reflect, and evolve dynamically through long-term interactions with users. In the context of MemGPT, virtual context management refers to the way MemGPT handles memory resources. It treats the context window as a constrained memory resource and designs a memory hierarchy similar to the memory tiers used in traditional operating systems. This means that MemGPT has different levels of memory storage, each serving a specific purpose. The interrupt-based control flow ensures that MemGPT can pause its processing until it receives an external event, such as a user message or a scheduled interrupt. This allows MemGPT to effectively manage its limited context and make repeated context modifications during a single task. These two components work together to enhance the performance of multi-session chat applications. The virtual context management allows MemGPT to have access to different memory resources, such as main context, conversational context, and working context. Each of these memory resources has specific characteristics and limitations. For example, Main context contains system instructions that are read-only and pinned, while conversational context is read-only with a special eviction policy. Working context, on the other hand, is writable and serves as a working memory scratchpad for MemGPT. By using this virtual context management and interrupt-based control flow, MemGPT can effectively handle multiple chat sessions and remember past interactions with users. It can retrieve information from external context, such as chat logs or document collections, and bring them into the main context. This allows MemGPT to have a larger memory capacity and access to historical data, enabling it to remember previous conversations, reflect on them, and evolve dynamically over time. In summary, MemGPT's virtual context management and interrupt-based control flow contribute to the performance of multi-session chat applications by providing efficient memory management and allowing for dynamic interactions with users. These features enable MemGPT to remember, reflect, and evolve based on long-term interactions, ultimately enhancing its ability to generate meaningful and contextually relevant responses. How does MemGPT's approach to virtual context management and interrupts differ from traditional operating systems, memory management and interrupt handling? What are the specific adaptations made for the context of language models and generative AI applications?